Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Try High School Sports Network back here at the great Don Schwarzkopf Gymnasium, home of the great Jeff Miller Court. We're excited to be with you guys tonight. As always, Lane Rust over to my right on the scoreboard. Jared Stevens back tonight over here on the camera. Unfortunately, no Clayton tonight. Had to deal with a couple of things. 
As always, I'm Dylan Stevens. And right beside me, partner Log, Ty Friend, and Jimmy Jeffries. And like always, we'll start with the starting lineups tonight. First, for the Randolph Southern Rebels, starting at guard, a 6'3 freshman, number zero, Tayson Stewart. At guard, a 5'11 freshman, number two, Brody Mills. At guard, a 6'1 junior, number three, Ronnie Dotson. Another guard, a 5'10 sophomore, number 12, Noah Allen. <laughs> And at forward, number 30, Ian Vance. I apologize for the inconvenience we're having so far. Uh, just a couple minor issues with some sound. But uh, hopefully you guys can hear me now. And hopefully we're underway as the Rebels strike first already up by three points. Jimmy, you got me over there. Yes, sir. That three was by Brody Mills for the first possession for the Rebels. Hopefully we're good the rest of the way here out. Try to fix a couple things. Hopefully it works. Uh, us four over here are not the most technological advanced guys, but hey, we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can get it done. As right there, Brody Mills going to take it to the basket. Go ahead, put the Rebels up by five early. The freshman getting it going early for him. Yeah, and one thing about the Rebels, they're, you know, they're setting at two and 17, one and seven in the MEC conference. But, you know, one thing that really speaks out and sticks out for them, you know, really young core. As Engel goes to the basket, he'll be fouled. Foul's going to be on number three, Ronnie Dotson. His first. As Cooper Engel will go to line and shoot two. Yeah, just a 53% free throw shooter on the air. My apologies. Just by saying, uh, you know, the Rebels start two freshmen, a sophomore, and a junior and a senior. You know, really young core for them. Uh, you know, JV guys had a lot of freshmen and sophomores. Look for them in the next couple years, you know. Make some big advances there as they grow to mature a little bit. As Engel steps up, knocks him down. Yeah, new co 
coaching the second year for the Rebels, you know, trying to build that program. It's going to take a couple years. As the Rebels now taking over. Quick start on the offensive end for them. Team that doesn't score the basketball very well. Uh, you know, sitting at a 20, negative 21, you know, margin of differential this year per game. Not quite what you like to see as a head coach. That's a long three by Noah Allen. He buried that one. Hot start for the Rebels. Yeah, and he's the leading scorer for them on the year, averaging 13 points a game. As the Rebels again, hounding the Titans. Titans so far look pretty uncomfortable. Not getting to the spots, not, not able to find anything so far. Working around this Brody Mills again. Now oh, Allen trying to drive past it right back out to Ian Vance. Vance right there, the lone senior on the entire roster. It looks like he's going to step out of bounds, going to head over back to the Titans. About halfway through the first quarter now, Titans yet to make a field goal, just the two free throws so far. There's their score, Josiah Cox walking up for trying to direct traffic. Over the screens, they're trying to look for Melton down low. Cox makes his man jump. Tries to feed to the corner, but loses it. And they'll restart. Cornelius, hard take, gets his man to jump up in it. Now the Rebels with a chance to answer. Now it looks like they're going to found the offense here back the other way again. I thought it was going to be on number 30, Ian Vance. His first. Cornelius looks to take it strong up again. Just bodies his way down to the paint. And he'll score that one of these. And that's his game right there. Just bowling you to the basket with just pure strength and finishing over you. Yeah, maybe a possibility of a little bit of frustration for Cornelius after a long night for him last night. I believe he had zero last night. Showing he's ready tonight. He's yeah. ready to play some basketball. Yeah, tough loss for the Titans last night, but you got to bounce back tonight. And we're going to travel here. Yeah, for the Titans, it all starts on the defensive end. And we've been saying almost all year, it starts down here. You know, they average 10 steals a game. And a lot, of ha a lot of that has to do with the press, which we haven't seen much in the last couple games. As they try to feed it down to Josiah Cox, can't quite handle it. Steal going to the Rebels. Yeah, and that Titan defense, just like we talked about, you know, unfortunately the, the Bulldogs last night kind of did to them what Tri does to a lot of teams. Got them uncomfortable, forced them to try to make some very long passes. Created a lot of turnovers. That's kind of what sparked the run last night in the third quarter for the Bulldogs. I believe there was four steals in a row and four baskets in a row. As they throw it down underneath for Brody Mills, he can't quite finish it. they will track down the rebound, but a step out of bounds. Trenton Jeffries into the game for the Rebels. And Jonah Cox in for the Titans. Ingle setting things up, taking a couple screens on the top of the key. Rebels giving that man-to-man -man look. Titans haven't seen man-to-man -man in a couple of games. A lot of teams going zone on them, forcing them to make some shots. As that one's knocked away out of Cornelius' hands. Stewart going to pick it up, slow things back up, and give it over to Noah Allen. Working around this, Jeffrey's first action of the night. And they'll pull things right back out. Around log shot on the way off the mark. And there's Cole Melton tracking down the rebound. Pushing the pace at single. And 
As Huffman tries to go down the middle of the lane, throws it up just short. Melton tips it away right back to Huffman. Huffman throws it up and one. That was going to be on number zero, Tayson Stewart, his first. As Grayson Huffman will go to the line and try to complete the and one. As Jonah Co Josiah Cox will re enter for the Titans. And Brody Sullivan will enter for the Rebels. And Sullivan, a guy for the Rebels, another sophomore. Lots of young guns for the Rebels. Huffman steps up, converts the and one. Yeah, it's a very young group for the Rebels. Jonah Cox now applying a little bit of a pressure. And they'll get him, I believe, with the, the hand check there. Uh, that'll be his first foul. First foul for the Titans this quarter. As Allen looks to set back things up. Primary ball handle for them. Passes the ball pretty well. Knocked out of bounds by Cox. Number three, Ronnie Dotson will re-enter for Randolph Southern. And the Rebels set things back up. A minute 25 to go. Log through on the way. Dotson checks right in. Takes the shot with confidence. Just short. And the Rebels second chance here. Feeds it down to the low post. Spins, fires it right back out. Drives in the middle. Log float on the way. He's down and gets it to drop. The foul's going to go on number three, Jonah Cox. His second. And Eli Murphy will enter the game as Jonah sits down with those two fouls here in the first quarter. And Bernie Mills completes the end one. Murphy didn't get quite a, quite a lot of action yesterday. Back in. Run the point. Trying to be that playmaker for him. Trying to get a spark off the bench. Yeah, no, he started most of the year and has been coming off the bench the last couple games. And Cornelius all the way to the rack. Trading in ones back and forth we go. That was going to go on number two, Brody Mills. His first. As Cornelius will go to the line. Try to complete the end one. And it'll do just that. Titans take the lead. 12 to 11 now. Noah Allen trying to take him all the way to the rack. Throws up a wild one. Drops it in though. Tough shot there for Noah Allen. Yeah, tough shot there. You know, Cornelius played really, really good defense that time. He just, Allen got it to go over him. Yeah, and Jimmy, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe uh, Mills and Allen have all of the Rebels' points so far. I believe five and eight for them, respectively. Yeah, very true. As they'll look right back to him now, 20 seconds ago. I believe it'll be a one-shot situation. Rebels holding on to the one-point lead. Another interesting thing about this game, a little sectional preview, which is coming up in just a short few weeks. Working around four seconds ago, trying to find something. Allen. Pump fakes, throws one on, just off the front of the rim. And that's going to conclude through one. Titans trailing by one, now 12 to 13. And we'll be right back to our Tri High School Sports Network.
And we're back after the break. Exciting first quarter. Titans trailing by one with the basketball now. And fans, anyone that wanted to know, uh, tomorrow, I believe, at 5 p.m., as Cox throws up a log three off the mark. Uh, tomorrow night, 5 p.m., it'll be the IHSA pairing show for the sectional draw. Tune into that. See who both of these squads will face in their first round. Coming up here in just a couple short weeks. And we're going to travel going back the other way. And for that sectional pairing show, it'll be streaming exclusively on the IHSAATV.org. Murphy still in the game, walking up the court for the Titans. Again, trying to get that spark going. Not a, a lot of offense going early. Exciting nonetheless. Working around, trying to see four out, one in. Cox looked for it. Not quite there. Huffman tries to drive down the middle. Cuts to the lane, throws it up, and in. Rebels now with a chance to answer. Trailing by one again. A lot of back and forth action. A lot of lead changes. As Stewart's going to fall over. Kept his dribble. Able to pass it away. And there's Noah Allen trying to look for his. Dotson feeds it to the high post. Hands it off right back to him. Allen passes it over to Stewart. Stewart cutting down the lane. Can't find it. Gets his own rebound, and he'll be fouled. Foul will be on number 12, Josiah Cox. His first. Rebels going to that box set. Trying to set a screen for Allen. Going back to the opposite corner. Fortunately, can't get the ball to him. It's going to be a backcourt violation. Now the Titans now have the chance to spread their lead. Run a little dribble hand off to Huffman. Huffman all the way to the rim again. Impressive take. No good on the finish. Chips out of bounds by Mullen. Rebels basketball. Allen gets it over, handles the pressure well. Gets it over pretty easily. Sets up the offense again. Cox trying to double and trap. Knocked away, loses it. It's Murphy now. Taking it the other way. Pulls it out. Cox going hard to the rim. Gets this guy to jump. Throws it up. Spins it all the way around. And in. As Cox gets his first points of the game. Cornelius gets him to cross over in front. Tips it away. Gets the ball. Feeds it down to Huffman. Gets it a man to jump, and it'll be a foul. Foul's going to be on number 40, Brody Sullivan. His first. Grayson Huffman will go to the line and shoot two. Steps up and knocks down the first one. And Huffman, a 78% free throw shooter on the year, leads the Titans. And Ian Vance will re-enter for the Rebels. Excuse me, Ian Vance. And Huffman short on the second one. Melton fighting for the rebound. Tipped away off of him, I believe. Going the other way. Titans now settling into that pressure. Murphy guarding him full court, one-on-one. And we'll get a timeout while he was still high possession on the ground. It's going to be a 30-second timeout for the Rebels. And with that, we'll take a short break here on Try High School Sports Day.
And we're back after the quick break. A quick 30-second timeout. Titans applying a lot of pressure there. Two possessions in a row. Cornel first Cornelius, then Murphy. One thing about the Rebels, they'll mature with some age, but crossing over in front, never the thing you want to do. As Cox looks like he's going to pick up the foul, trying to run through. And he will. That'll be his second foul. Yeah, and right away, Coach Styler looked right at Josiah Cox and said, hey, you know, use your head. You got two fouls. I'm going to leave you in this basketball game. Be a, go be a leader. Don't pick up your third. As the Rebels working around now, maybe shoved him off. Cornelius goes flying, hits the deck. Is Brady Sullivan going to have it? Right back over to Noah Allen. Allen driving hard to the lane with a left hand with a kiss off the glass and good. Really nice job by Allen going the opposite of the screen and gets by Huffman. A nice left hand. Yeah, the flow to the offense going to the right side. Took it upon himself to go to the left side. Drops it in. And looks like Cornelius will be fouled on this end. The foul will be on number 30, Ian Vance, his second. As Murphy now going to set up underneath. Throws it right into Josiah Cox. We see them run that a lot. Tries to throw it up off the glass. No good. Noah Allen looks for his early there. Not going to get it. As Brody Mills picks right up where he left off. Brody Mills and Noah Allen, a freshman and sophomore, been the star of the show for the Rebels so far tonight. Keep it a minute. Tied at 17. Josiah Cox going one on one, making a couple moves. Feeds it over to Huffman. Cornelius, one dribble, step in, pull up. Man, he's good at that. Drops it in. And right away, Allen hands it over to Brody Mills, giving him an opportunity to go to work again. Murphy all the way up in him. Swings it over. There's Brody Mills again. Just off the mark. Fighting for the rebound. And it looks like we'll pick up a foul underneath here. And the foul will be on number 23, Bryant Cornelius. His first. As Ronnie Dotson enters for the Rebels. And Cooper Ingle for the Titans. And again, a different look out of the box set here for the Rebels. Just feeds it to the short corner. Right away gives it to Allen. Setting a double screen for him. Mills looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. Allen in the low post. Kicks it right back out. Rebels taking their time on this possession. Trying to find a good one. Allen just throws up a long three. Bullseye! Thirty-three percent three-point shooter on the year, and he's already got two. Yeah, Allen, confident, steps right into that one. Defense sagging off. I believe he's got ten already. Cooper Ingle, hard take to the basket. Drops it in. Really good job by Ingle. Last couple games, he's been playing really aggressive. Allen again buried it. Noah Allen. 13 already for him. Got himself going. Caught that one in rhythm. Throws it up and good. Melton wants it underneath. He's going to be doubled. Trying to go up strong, and he'll be fouled. The foul will be on number 40. Brody Sullivan. His second. And it's Cole Melton. We'll go to the line and shoot two. As he is a 53% free throw shooter. And he steps up and going to knock down the first one. And Trenton Jeffries re-enters for the Rebels. And 
And Melton, successful trip for him at the line. Knocks them both down. Tie ball game at 23. The Titan pressure getting to him. Allen throws a laser down the court. But Melton picked it off. Josiah Cox walks right into one. Throws it up. Short. And there's Ingle with an offensive rebound. Driving down the baseline. Little shuffle pass over to Cornelius. And that one's good. Good teamwork there for the Titans. Allen knocked down a couple in a row now. Look for him to ready to rise and fire. Trying to get it back to him. Feeds a low post now. Strong take and the foul. Brody Mills going to head to the line to shoot two now. And the foul is going to go on number five, Cooper Engel. His first. Team's fourth. As Mills, go to, Mills will go to the line for two. Steps up, hits the front of the rim and the back of the rim. Can't get it to fall. Can't get the second one either. Empty trip there for Mills. It's the Titans now a chance to extend their lead up by two right now. Looking over to Cox. He tries to drive down the middle. Pulls it right back out to Huffman. Little weave dribble handoff. Back to Cox. Makes a couple moves. Drives down hard down the lane. And one. Great take for Josiah Cox there, hard to the basket. Finishes at the rim, plus the contact. And, uh, foul will be on number two, Brody Mills, his second. And Josiah Cox will go to the line, and try to complete the end one. And he'll do just that, converting the end one. Titans now lead by five. Rebels need an answer now. A minute 20 to go in the half. There's Jeffries. Throws it up on Melton. Trying to body his way all the way to the rim. Throws it up and good. Not a lot of people able to do that on Cole Melton. As he swings out of the corner, Engle foot on the line. It's a two, but it's good. Good shot by Engel there. Just scraped his tail on the line. Regardless, good shot, good find. And there's no Allen. 45 left to go in the first half. Been a good one. Titans by five. The Rebels taking their time now. Tell by the look on Allen's face, he wants the basketball. Knocked down a few in a row. Got 13 of the 25. Now under 30 left. Allen working across a couple screens, pulls it right back out. Looks like they're going to waste the entire minute. Now at 10. Allen, a little sidestep, pulls up for the mid-range, almost gets it to drop, and it looks like he'll be fouled. And the foul will be on Brian Cornelius. And that'll be his second. As Allen goes to the line to shoot two. That's got 73% free throw shooter on the year as he leads the Rebels. And Taysen Stewart will re enter for them. Man with Alan Cornelius did about everything right. He had his hand there, had his hand in his face, but unfortunately, right at the end, just swatted down on him. Picks up his second foul. Pretty frustrating. Uh, he was pretty frustrated about that one, picking up a second there. As no time, Cox dribbles, throws it up. Ball's tipped away. Melton tries to get it. Tries to throw it up, doesn't matter. Horn goes off. And after the first half, good back and forth action, a lot of lead changes. Titan gonna lead by three in this one. With up 30 to 27 over the Rebels. We'll take a break. And then we'll be right back after the half. We're gonna try high school sports now.
And we're back closing in. That'll be the start of the second half. Lots of good back and forth action we had in the first half. Titans up by three. Story of the night so far for the Rebels. Brody Mills and Noah Allen taking over this game so far for them. Keeping them in this ball game. And now, late in the second half, all you got to do is be close to give yourself a chance. It's going to be Rebels basketball to start the second half here with the chance to tie it. And right away, setting up the offense. Swinging the ball around. Right away, giving it right back to Allen. Brody Mills drives hard to the lane with a right hand, throws it up. Can't finish. Ball being tipped around, swatted away. Huffman falls over, and it'll be a travel. Dove on it, unfortunately rolled over with it. It'll be a travel. Staying with the Rebels here. Again, if you didn't hear us in the first half, uh, tomorrow, 5 o'clock, it'll be the sectional drawing on the IHSA. Two of these teams, both of them, will be involved in the same section. And that will be over on IHSAATV.org tomorrow, 5 o'clock. As the Rebels are long possession here, moving the ball around. Trying to find something. Allen finds it over to Stewart. Allen steps right into the three. Throws up a long one. In and out. Looked good the whole way. Can't quite find it. And the Titans now with their first possession of the half. On the screen slips. Wanted it. Cox finds it over to Huffman in the corner. Bullseye. Good start of the half for the Titans. And Huffman gets his first three of the game to go down. Titans get a big stop on one end, big three on the other. Sends this one to six. Texas tries first three of the game. Yeah, we're used to the Titans taking a lot of threes. Not really attempted very much tonight. Really pounded the ball inside. Got a couple of and ones. Both sides with a few and ones. Mills drives down the middle of the lane. Tries to turn and throw it up. Misses. Gets his own rebound. And pulls it right back out. Dotson now taking part of the double screen. Throws up a three. Can't finish it. Sullivan tries to get the rebound. Saves it. Melton picks it up. And we're going back the other way. Cox now wants to go one-on-one. Trips and falls. Engel picks it up to Melton in the corner. A three ball. Just off the back. Fighting, scrapping for it. Engel gets the rebound. Up and one. And the foul will be on number 40, Brody Sullivan, his third. And he'll step up and convert the and one. And Trenton Jeffries went into the game as Sullivan will sit with those three fouls as he started the second half for the Rebels. And Allen takes it hard. Melton tries to swat it away. Can't quite get it, but the basket no good. Cox pushing it out the other way in transition. Feeds it to Engel in the corner. A long three on the way. Bullseye! Cooper Engel knocks down the big shot. Titans going on a big run now. Up by 12 now. As we'll head to a full timeout for the Rebels. And we'll be right back here on Troy High School Sports Network.
And we're back. Titans going on a big run early here. Just three minutes into the second half. Titans stretch the lead all the way from three. All the way to 12. A 9-0 run to start the half. As the Rebels trying to find something on the offensive end. Mills driving all the way down the lane. And one. And the foul will be on number 12, Josiah Cox. His third. Lots of and ones for both sides tonight. This can't quite convert on the and one. Cuts the lead down to 10. Nine cent of the offense going to be an elevator screen for Cox. Tries to go one on one. Allen all over him. That's Huffman now. Playing a little one on one game. Spins towards the middle. Tries to throw it up. And we'll have a block and foul. Foul down number 22, Trenton Jeffries. His first. And they will call the foul on the ground. Tight stack it up. Let Josiah Cox over there on himself. Acted like he was going to go all the way back out. Cuts right back to the basket. Can't finish the layup, though. Rebels now. Trying to cut that lead even farther. Trying to go on a run of their own. Jason Stewart with the basketball for the Rebels. Clearing out now. Letting him go one-on-one. -on -one. That's Brody Mills. That's the freshman. Feeds it over there to Jeffries. Short. Huffman pushing the pace. Over to Cornelius. A one dribble pull up. No good. Melton fights for the rebound. Can't get it. Credit Noah Allen with another one. Slows things down. Tries to go to the basket one on one himself. Feeds it right back out to Stewart. And then Jeffries. Jeffries working on the low block. Down there on Melton wants the basketball. Now will come up and set the screen. Allen tries to post up himself. Ball's flying loose. Knocked around. Cornelius comes up with it. Wisely pulls it back out on the one-on-two. Swings it around. Ingle a long three. Off the back. And Allen picks up the rebound. But Melton right there. To knock it away. Titans recover it. Get it back. Huffman wanted to shoot it. Pulls it right back out. Up and spins, drives down the lane, and he'll be fouled also. And the foul beyond number 12, Noah Allen, his first. As Grayson Huffman will go to the line and shoot two. Steps up, knocks down the first one. And Jonah Cox will re answer for the Titans. And as will Eli Murphy. Steps up, knocks down the second one. Another successful trip to the line for Huffman, knocks down them both. Allen taking a long trip up the court. Working around now. Right back to Mills. Long three on the way. Off the mark. Murphy with the rebound. Pushing the pace. He's quick. Good pass to Cornelius. Throws it up. Defender grabs the net. Unfortunately. Missed it right back the other way. Feeds it to the post to Jeffries. Trying to bully Melton. But Murphy digs right down. Knocks it out of bounds. And again, the Rebels go to the box set. Trying to set a couple screens. Struggles to get it in. They'll get it right in to Allen. And immediately right back to Brody Mills. Finds it over to Allen. He'll go all the way to the rim. Gets the foul and the basket. And the 
foul will be on number three, Jonah Cox. His third. As Allen will go to the line. And try to complete the end one. Yeah, I like that from Allen going all the way to the rim there. Taking to the basket, going right at him. Getting the end one. Last few possessions down there for the Rebels. Kind of settled for some long jump shots. You know, missing kind of badly. That's what kind of led the Titans to go on their run. Now the Titans only up by nine again. Feeds a great pass from Cornelius. The Cox going to be knocked away, though. Yeah, for the Rebels, you know, that first half, they're really aggressive, taking it inside. And like you said, so far in this third quarter, they've been settling for a lot of deep shots. And Mills, big jump stop, fades away. Can't quite find that one. Cox pushing up the pace. Swings it over to Huffman. Now Cornelius. Cornelius, a big jump stop. Throws it up with the right hand. And no good. And the Rebels a chance to cut it some more. Now looking over to Jeffries, a long three. Buried it. Is that Trenton Jeffries or Jimmy Jeffries? We don't know. They swing it over to Cox in the corner. The answer, no good. And they give it right back to Allen. A chance here under a minute to go in the third quarter. Down by six. Swings it over to Noah Allen. Jonah Cox right there on him, playing some good defense. Swinging around now. Mills posted up on Cox in the paint, wanting the ball. And he'll pick up another foul. And that'll be his fourth. As Cooper Engel will enter as he sits with those four fouls. And now under 30 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Been an exciting back and forth action. Titans going on a big run themselves. And it looks like we're getting a legal screen going back the other way. Titans going on a big run. And they'll uh, hold on to a six-point lead here. Probably one-shot situation. Trying to extend it just a little bit farther heading into the fourth. Yeah, and that foul will go on number 30, Ian Vance. His third. Now Murphy walking it up, setting a couple screens. Huffman pulls it right back out to Engel. And they'll give it to Huffman, under 10 to go. Looks like he's going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Spins towards the middle. And he loses it, knocks it out of bounds, off his knee, going the other way. 4.4 to go. Rebels going to have a shot. Titans going to get up, apply some pressure to make sure they don't get a comfortable one. Rebels looking to get it in. They get into Stewart, right back into Mills. Two to go, one to go from half court. Ooh, that one was close, but no good. Titans after three, lead 41 to 35, and we'll be right back. You're on Tri High School Sports Network. Start of the fourth quarter. 
24 minutes down, eight to left to go. Titans lead by six. And it looks like Josiah Cox with some more blood on his jersey. Seems to be like an every night occurrence for him. As it looks like a couple coaches going to run to the locker room for him, trying to get him another jersey. Some Randolph Southern coach Brian Stewart unhappy. He wants this game to continue. As the time's now. Going to have to waste a timeout. 30 seconds out of time. As actually it looks like number two of Brody Mills was also bleeding in off the court. They forced the Titans to take a timeout so Josiah Cox can get another jersey. But now the Titans are arguing that the Rebels were also in the same situation. Would have been a four-on-four. But it now looks like Josiah Cox is going to be rocking the number 34 jersey. So number 34 for Josiah Cox looks like probably the rest of the way out. And as will Titans going to end up using that 30-second timeout, it looks like. And we're right back to it. No time came off the clock here still in the fourth or in the fourth. And now we're back underway. Engel driving down the lanes. He hits hard, throws one up off the glass and in. Engel's been really aggressive tonight. And he's leading the way for the Titans with 14 so far. Yeah, taking it strong to the rim. Mills wanted to shoot another one on three, but he doesn't. Pass it over to Jason Stewart. And there's Jeffries with it. Goes right back to the post, wants the ball. And Mills is going to pull it back out. Turns around, throws up a three way off the mark. Jeffries tries to save it. It's going to be out of bounds. Titan basketball. Titans now with a chance to make it double digits once more. Approaching the seven minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Engel swinging around to Cornelius. Cornelius, strong take to the basket. He'll be fat. And the foul will be on number two, Brody Mills. His third. As Cornelius will go to the line and shoot two. Knocks down the first one. Ronnie Dotson and Brody Sullivan will enter for the Rebels. Cornelius short off the front, but Cox right there to get the rebound. Pass it back out. Ingle a long three. Off the back. Fighting for the rebound, and they'll get it back. The Titans another one. Huffman now a three. Off the back again, but Melton's there this time. Swings it back to Huffman. Gets his man a jump. And one. As it looks foul. like. Excuse me, the foul will be on number two, Brody Mills. It'll be his fourth. As the Rebels take a full time out here. And we'll be right back on the Tri High School Sports Network.
And after the Rebels timeout, Titans up by 11. Chance to make it 12 for Huffman. Trying to convert the and one. And he'll do just that. Titans by 12 now. Applying the pressure, Huffman tries to steal it, tips it away. And Stewart finally able to come up with it. Trying to trap Noah Allen. Two, three guys running after him. Throws a long pass. Jeffries throws it up. No good. Melton with the rebound. And Cornelius now pushing the pace for the Titans. Drives all the way to the rim. With the right hand, a little scoop layup. And that one's good. Really nice job by Cornelius to get that ball out there and away from the defender. Yes. That rolls in. Good looking take for him. Extends the Titans lead again. And it looks like it's tipped, knocked out of bounds. Screen basketball. And the Rebels get it in and Noah out. He's been decently quiet here in the second half after the blazing start in the first half. As they're working around, they get it right back to him, and right on cue, he throws up a three. Off the backboard, almost banked it in from the corner. Gets his own rebound, though, just short on the putback. No second chance points there. Cornelius pushing the pace over to Cox in the corner. Tries to drive baseline, swings it all the way back around. Feeds it right down to Milton. Up and in. Really good ball movement there by the Titans offensively. And you've seen that so far as Huffman gets a steal. Tries to drive down the lane and he'll be fouled again. And the foul will be on number 12, Noah Allen. His second. And the Titans now after maybe some Titans fans will consider a slow start for them in the first half. Only leading by three at the half. Uh, firing on all cylinders now as Huffman steps up and knocks down the first one. And Brody Mills will re-enter for the Rebels. Yeah, on that last possession of the Titans, I believe almost every single player for the Titans touched the basketball. Ends up in Melton's hands and he knocked it down. Huffman rattles it home. And what was just a six-point game Headed in the start of the fourth. We're just two and a half minutes in. Titans with a chance to go by 20, but a three in the corner for Ronnie Dotson. Going to silence that one for he'll, now. He'll get his first points of the game as the Rebels knock down their first three, excuse me, second three in the second half. Yeah, and Dotson just a 27% three-point shooter on the year. Gets his. And Huffman driving right down the middle of the lane, and he'll be fouled again, and he's going to go to the line once more to shoot two more free throws. And the foul will be on number 12, Noah Allen. His third. As Huffman will shoot two more. Steps up and knocks down the first one. It looks like another basketball somehow entered onto the court. And Eli Murphy will re-enter for the Titans. And steps up and knocks down a both. Another successful trip to the line for Huffman. Titans applying the pressure. Cornelius steps up, tips it away. Cox diving for it. And we'll get a foul. And the foul will be on number 34, Josiah Cox. Got to be his fourth. Throw it into the corner now. It's Brody Mills back over to Allen. Back to Jeffries, wanted to pull the three. Brody Mills driving hard, fades away, throws it up, and Melton another rebound. Throws it out to Murphy, pushing the pace. Out in transition running, feeds it to Huffman. Slow things back up. Swinging around. Melton wants it at the rim. They don't throw it to him. 
Working around back to Cox. Over to Murphy. Cornelius gets his man to jump. Pulls up. A little bit of floater off the mark. Gets his own rebound, though. Swings it back around in the corner. Long skip pass over to Huffman. Wide open. And off the back, and we'll get a foul going the other way. I believe it's on Mountain going for the rebound. And it will be. As that'll be his first foul. Tiny pressure. Making the Rebels look very uncomfortable here late in the second half. Maybe not creating a, a ton of turnovers, but just making them really uncomfortable getting the ball down the court, really throwing off the offense. Brody Mills drives hard down the lane, and he'll be fouled up and in through the contact. And that foul will be on number 22, Cole Mill, his second. As Mills will go to the line and shoot one. Off to Mark Cornelius. Tracks down the long rebound of the corner. Titans hanging on to the 15-point lead. Knox finds it over to Murphy. Wanted to take the lift. Now over to Huffman. Feeds it over. Log three on the way for Cornelius. Bullseye. Titans back up by 18. Yeah, this Titan press really giving them fits. And like you said, you know, it's not creating the turnovers, but offensively it's really speeding them up. Yeah, making them uncomfortable. Melton tries to go for the big block there. Unfortunately, he slaps down on the arm. And that'll be his third as he picks up three quick ones here in the fourth. A little bit unusual for him. We usually see him with a couple early as he's always aggressive going for those rebounds, going for some blocks. Yeah, and he still has eight rebounds in this game already. And Jonah Cox will re-enter for the Titans. And Taysen Stewart for the Rebels. Steps up, throws it up and in. Knocks down the second free throw. Rebels applying a little bit of a pressure now. Trying to find something. Trying to create a spark. Down by 16. Cox gets it across. They're trapping him hard. Tries to throw it away. Tipped away. Huffman goes for it. Saves it. Cornelius in the corner. Yeah, short. Cox going to throw him out of his way. I believe Cox tried throwing him out of the way, going for the rebound. And he did. And that'll be his fifth foul. So he will be done tonight. As Cole Melton will enter for him. As Brody Mills will go to the line and shoot two. And so far tonight, he is one for five. Steps up and knocks it down. Make him two for six. And the second one good as well. Knocks down a move. Rebels trying to set up the pressure again. Feeds it over to Cox. Cornelius pushes it up and gets it to Murphy. Murphy not allowing himself to be trapped. A great pass to Milton. Swatted away by Brody Sullivan. Mills driving hard to the lane, and he'll be fouled again. And the foul will be on number 22, Cole Melton, and that'll be his fourth. As Mills will go to the line and shoot two more. And then down the first one. Three in a row for him now. And Cooper Engel will re-enter for the Titans. And the second one off the front all the way around and in. Rebels slowly but surely you know, making this game interesting again. Trying to do it all with the press. Stripped away. Stewart gets his hand in there. Sullivan all the way to the rim. 
and it's now a 10 point ball game. And right on cue, a timeout for the Titans. Much needed timeout as the Rebels go on a big run. It's going to be a full timeout for the Titans. They're up by 10. We'll be right back after the quick break. We're at Tri High School Sports now. And we're back. Two minutes and 32 seconds. Left to go. Titans up by 10 points. Rebels trying to get under that press. Making the Titans a little uncomfortable. Feeds it to Cox over the middle now. Feeds it down the middle. Gets a couple guys to jump. Throws it high off the glass. Can't quite finish. And now he's going to head to the line to shoot two more. And the foul bill number zero, Taysom Stewart, his second. And Melton to go to the line and shoot two. And so far in the game, two for two. Make that three for three. And another. Four for four and out for the line for Melton. Titans still running their press. And unfortunately for Sullivan, he takes off running with it before putting the ball down. Titans now with a 12-point advantage with the basketball. Rebels needed that one bas badly. And swings it back to Cornelius. They finally get it across. Ingle being trapped in the corner. Throws it right back out to Cornelius. Trying to fight, find everything they can. The Rebels credit them not giving up. As Engel now going to be fouled. And foul beyond number two, Brody Mills. And that will be his fifth. As that's a big blow to the Rebels. And Engel going to step up to the line and knock down the first one. And Mills will foul out with 18 points and four rebounds. As that'll be a big blow as he was leading the way for Randolph Southern. And the second one, no good. Rebels look to push for pace. Eyes at a Sullivan in the corner, wide open, three. Good. Big shot there for the Rebels. It's Ronnie Dotson. Looks like the Titans might have stepped on a line or something there. Turnover. Back to the Rebels. A big blow for the Titans. Out to Jeffries. Swinging around. Dotson wanted to shoot it. Allen another walk three. That would have been a big one. Goes right for the rebound, but Cole Melton. Going to pick up the rebound, but we'll get a foul down here underneath. And the foul will be on number zero. Taysom Stewart. His third. Cole Melton going to be the shooter. My apologies, looks like he's the one that got fouled going for the rebound. Melton now four for five in the line with that miss. Yeah, and he's only a 53% free throw shooter on the year. But five for six. Showing why he belongs at the line tonight. 
Five for six at the charity stripe, a good night for him. Allen steps over, wanted to shoot the three. They're gonna need some magic now, down by 11. Tries to feed it back out, Cornelius tips it away. Throws it back to Cox, they're gonna slow it down. A minute 20 to go now. Throws it across to Engel. Swings it over to Huffman. And they'll pull it back out. It's gonna play a little game of keep away. He's it over to Cornelius, he's gonna take the three. Off the mark, but Engel right there for the offensive rebound. Ball's tipped away. Both teams fighting for it. Rebels, a good effort. Going to pick up the ball. Throw it over to Allen in the corner. He'll just step right into one. Rise and fire off the mark. But there's Dotson. Knocked away. Cox diving for it. Tries to save it. Jeffries comes up with it. Allen a pull up, Jay. Short again. Cox being double teamed. And he'll be fouled. And the foul being number zero. Tayson Stewart, his fourth. As Josiah Cox will go to the line and shoot two. And steps up and knocks it out. And another. Tigers now back up by 13. Rebel's going to have to knock down some quick ones. Jeffries feeds him down low. Trying to go one-on-one -on, -one on Huffman. Just throws it up. Melton gets the rebound. Tipped out of bounds. Titan basketball. Ref asked for some help there because of a few Rebels fans screaming their displeasure. But go on. Staying with the Titans. Throws it into Ingle. Puts in the pace. Now pulls it back out. Again, playing that game of keep away. Tw under 20 seconds to go now. Feeds it over to Cornelius. He'll pull it back out. Now he'll be doubled. Right back to Cox. Now over to Engel in the corner. Now just swinging around. And that's pretty much going to do it now. Engel falls over. Gets tripped. No whistle there. Now the Troy High Titans going to take this one with a score of 64 over the Randolph Southern Rebels, 51. Good back and forth action we had all night in this one. You know, slow start for both teams. They, then they both kicked up, got things going. You know, story of the night for the Rebels, Brody Mills, Noah Allen, freshman and sophomore, going hand in hand with each other, getting buckets for that squad. Looking good all night. And for the Titans, you know, they just kind of took over there in the third quarter at one time, went on an 11-0 run. Rebels tried to crawl themselves back into it with this one. Applied their own pressure. Got a couple steals, a couple turnovers. Got a lot of baskets going there. And for the Titans, another big win for them, but coming after the loss for Centerville last night. And the Rebels, unfortunately, going to fall to 2-18. and And it's going to move the Titans... Up to 13 and 7. Now we got a couple of unofficial stats for you for this one. Yeah, unofficial stats for tonight's game. First for the Randolph Southern Rebels. Trenton Jeffries with five points, four rebounds. And tied for leading the way for the Rebels is Noah Allen with 18 points and eight rebounds. And Brody Mills with 18 points and four rebounds. As the Rebels fall to 2 and 18 overall. And for the Titans, Josiah Cox, 7 points, 4 rebounds. Cooper Engel, 15 points, 4 rebounds. Brian Cornelius with 17 points. And leading the way for the Titans, Grayson Huffman with 18 points and 3 rebounds as the Titans improve to 13-7 and seven overall. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us. Uh, stay tuned. Find out where, where we're heading next. Not sure if it'll be an away game or right back here at the great Don Schwarzkopf Gymnasium. And just another reminder before we let you go, 5 p.m. tomorrow over on IHSAATV.org. Again, 5 o'clock tomorrow with a sectional drawing. We'll feature both of these two teams. Keep an eye out for that. As that sectional coming up in here just a few short weeks. That's going to wrap it up for us. It's been another good one.